Oh, babe, what time is it? The sky is so bright. Can you close the curtain? Get up! It's 11 a.m. already, you lazy pig. We have a lunch gathering with our uni friends, remember? Then we have to do some grocery shopping. Then we have to go to the gym and do a little bit of training. And then. And we are going to the beach and watch the sunset. What a romantic boyfriend I am. You're welcome. Yeah, like those romantic movies. Speaking of which, why does the sun look more orange at sunset than in the afternoon? Well, this effect has a special name for it. It's called Rayleigh scattering. This is named after an English physicist, Lord Rayleigh. Oh, so it is actually related to physics. What? It's gonna be so difficult. Nah, it's easy. It's about wavelength. When the sun is high, light has to travel a shorter distance through the atmosphere of the Earth, meaning the yellow, orange, and red light can pass through. Provided that humans can only see visible lights in the electromagnetic spectrum, and yellow, orange, and red visible lights have long wavelength. Exactly. At the same time, only little short wavelengths lights like blue and purple are scattered and removed from the mix, so we see the sun as yellow and orange. During sunsets, the sun is close to the horizon, meaning sunlight has a longer distance to travel and to reach our eyes. Due to Rayleigh scattering, most shorter wavelengths lights such as blue, violet and green are scattered away leaving the red, orange, and yellow behind to pass straight through to the observer. This is why we see the sun more red and orange during sunsets. Wow, baby, I didn't even know you're good at physics. Right, no more excuses, you better get up now. If not, we're gonna be late. Yeah, okay, okay. We hope you liked this video. Do comment below what you have wondered for a long time and have no time to look up the answer yourself. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe our channel. See you next time.